This is an executive level two minute demonstration of Microsoft's executive dashboard tool called Viva Goals. I mean, here's the need. The need is that the pace of business is different than it used to be. It's much, much faster, right? Whether you're, you're concerned about the economy, political uncertainty, the emergence of AI in your space, the, the labor issues, regulatory issues, somehow or the other, we need to be able to take the invisible and make it visible. What's that management expression? Something like, what you cannot see, you cannot manage. And we need to make this stuff visible and build this agile muscle inside organizations. Now, for this tool, it doesn't matter what framework you've been using, whether they're OKRs, Objectives and Key Results, or Bounce Scorecard, or OGSM, or V2MOM, 4DX, EOS, etc. It doesn't matter. They all work on the same principle of, I have things I want to achieve, let's call them objectives, and data, KPIs, measures, key results that are going to monitor our progress in the direction. And they're like Lego blocks. How do I build your dashboard using these four elements? Within Viva Goals, you capture your organization's top most objectives. For each objective, you can see how they're progressing across time, current status, commentary, etc. The underlying structure is a basic hierarchical structure where for every objective, I can drill into sub-measures or key results, initiatives and projects to support it sub-objectives, etc., as far down as you want to go. And although it looks like a hierarchy, we can actually capture the, the network or web of interconnections. So no one objective stands on its own. There are related objectives, related key results. You can use those key results in multiple places. Objectives can show up in multiple places. So I can show that true interconnectivity and cross-functional relationship between our different processes and activities. This ensures alignment across your organization and ensures that everyone is looking at that one view of the truth and it's not green in one area and red in a different area. And it can be filtered by region, product, process, etc. So this allows you to be able to have standardized reports and then drill into specific issues. We've learned that different executives want to see this performance in different formats. So another popular view is what's called the alignment view. The alignment view shows the same information, but this way I can drill through from objective to sub-objective as far as I want to go. And this allows me to both drill down or build back up. I can understand the impacts of my area as it impacts the rest of the organization, but I can also help problem solve and contribute to the overall alignment of the organization. Other views that are available are dashboards that you can customize around the specific issues that you would like to see. Viva Goals allows you to import data directly from source applications or be able to manually input them, bring them in from Power BI, Excel spreadsheets, et cetera. And of course, you can send the data back out to PowerPoint decks, Excel, and Power BI. For the average organization, implementing Viva Goals in any one department or area takes about five days of elapsed time. In organizations that are using this tool, we typically see about a 35% reduction in meetings, about a 50% reduction in the time for meetings, and about a 20% boost in performance. We also see higher measures of employee engagement, reduced employee turnover, easier to onboard new employees, easier to shift employees from one function to another. So hopefully this gives you a quick overview of what this tool offers and amongst these different benefits, you can understand how it might help your organization perform better.